everyone and welcome to Letty Does Jessica Jones. So in the last episode, Jessica was uh, kidnapped, yeah kidnapped, by her mother and her doctor, whose name I don't know, and was taken to their hideout where Jessica has just, uh, it sees where her mother has been living uh, the entire time and basically Jessica directs the cops to her mother's hideout and while they're waiting for the cops she has like a long conversation with her mother where she just kind of has like this moment where she realizes or acknowledges that that is her mother. Accepts, that's the word, accepts. So she does still love her mom and wants to get to know her better. So instead of turning her into the cops in that exact moment, she decides to take some of her stuff and escape um, before they show up. So the cops show up to an empty house and she takes her mother to her house. Um, later, the same cops show up to Jessica's apartment and are basically just like, what the heck? Jessica gets them to go away. Um, but in everything that happened, uh, Jessica's mom thought that the police were going to enter Jessica's apartment. So she just tried to hide herself for a little bit. And trying to get back in, she meets Oscar, who she really likes. And they get along. And that does not make Jessica happy. That pisses Jessica off. But, you know, it's not that bad. So things are all happy and like awkward between the two of them. And they're just trying to get along. And everything seems to be going well until they get shot at. And that's where the last episode cut out. They had just gotten shot at through Jessica's apartment window. Someone is trying to kill them. And now we are going to see who. Um, of course, Jessica's mom is always like very quick to respond. She's very aggressive and hostile in her punishment. So whoever it was is probably in a lot of danger. Jessica is going to try to stop them. I don't know if she'll make it. Um, but I am excited to see because Jessica's mom, the actress, is very good at just being this force of nature where she's like, she's scary and she runs with anger and purpose. It's like if she was to hulk out, but you know, she stays the same uh, visually. So pretty excited for this episode. And that's basically all I'm looking for. Jessica Jones, season two, episode nine, shark in the bathtub, monster in the bed. Let's get started. Oh, that's the guy that ends up working for Jerry. Or it's the other way around and Jerry works for him. I don't remember which one it is. I think it's he works for Jerry. What? That was for him? Isn't that meant for her mother? Won't that kill him? Is that duct tape? No! One of many mistakes by You ever been to Tokyo? Was that before or after she Between like almost died? Because I think it was before, and that's really ironic. I mean, when do I get to be normal? When do I get to have a goddamn life? After the killer's caught. Wow, she looks really bad. Wait, Trish, wait. You've been down this road before, and we know how it ends. You have to call your sponsor, Trish. Oh, it's so sad how concerned Jessica is for Trish, but she has to deal with whatever that noise is. Did she break Jessica's bed? Aw, she slept next to her mom. So, Bert. So? I don't know. 
You're shot. I like you. Aww. You're Go deal with your family. I'll deal with mine. We can compare notes later. You sure you're okay? Aw, they're so cute! Really, she has no previous messages with Trish. Dear fucking god, that looks like a triple patty bacon burger. That's so bad. <laughs> oh gosh, it's Griffin. No oh, shit, her eyes aren't red anymore. Oh, I knew it! I, when we saw her in the last scene, I was like, she looks a little greasy. I like it. Yellow for death. Mm. Black for life. Yes. Yellow for death. Very Chinese. This is a sad excuse for breakfast spaghetti, but it's edible. There's no news about Price being missing yet. What's breakfast spaghetti? That feeling that you have when you're behind the wheel of a car, you know, the speed and the control. No, she doesn't. No, she you, doesn't drive. I don't drive. Yeah. Closure. She's going to flush it? It's self-defense. Not if he's unconscious. Okay, okay. Then so then we wait for him to gain consciousness. Then. She gave him another whole fucking thing? You think your time is worth more than mine? It is to me. I need you to stop at a Chick-fil-A. A what? Energy. She doesn't know what a Chick-fil-A is. <laughs> She's so rich. With the silent irritant it doesn't get worse than that. So would you say it's worse than uh, gun violence or what's happening in Syria? Whoa, or, Trish. Or, or, the hell off this shitty show. I quit. Yeah. Tall my hands. Okay, Trish. Captain America. We don't want to go on a trip without Captain. <laughs> That's so cute. Shit. That explains why Vito is so fine with Jessica Jones because he likes Captain America. So he's like, oh my gosh, a power person. Aw, oh, Stanley! Where's the bus to Montreal? Hey, I asked you to lay low. He's leaving now. If he knew that, why couldn't he just answer her? Why don't they just lift it up so that the tires don't make contact instead of pulling back? Aw, oh, she comforted, comforted her about dating the guy. Oh, she's sore. Oh shit, she's out. Where would she even get more of that stuff? So she helped me get my kid back. If you need something, papers to get her out. Anything. Aww. He's offering to commit crime. Oh, so cute. That little boy must be heavy. He was completely knocked out when his dad was carrying him, but dang. Well, step one would be to prove that she can control herself. Do it right. I can knock him out again. It would be completely humane. 
<laughs> All that crazy talk. Ooh, that was a loud thud. Neither of us get a happy ending. Ain't that the truth? This is how I lose my mom. All right, well, it just ended. All right, guys, so... How many episodes has it been? Let's see. I just finished the ninth episode. So, from getting her mom, she spent two days and one night with her, and then she called the cops on her. So, she didn't even last, you know, two whole days uh, to be with her mom, but. I do love how, like, her mom's character, when the guy said that she's a killer by nature, like, it, it's not, it's not really an insult, it's kind of true. So, when they had that scene where she's like, I can use my powers for good and whatever, and then immediately after is like, I can kill him, I'll murder him, I'll, I'll make sure he's asleep, but I will kill him. <laughs> and then Jessica's concerned face is like, okay. It's like the whole Kilgrave situation where he's just like, I can do my I can use my powers for good. And then it just escalates from there. Um, but I think that's pretty great uh, character consistency where they just have her be this aggressive, brutal enforcer. Um, so that's pretty exciting. Jerry is healed now, so good for her, I guess. But that chick, though, she was like not into Jerry at all. And then when Jerry asked if she was going to stay by her side, she was totally off put and like kind of grossed out. So, um,. I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. And knowing that it's Jerry, and no relationships with Jerry end on a good note, I think something bad's gonna happen to her, but yeah, I, I'm not too sure. We're just gonna have to wait and see in regards to that. Oh, <sighs> sorry, yawning. Anyway, but this, episode was pretty cool. I did like um, Jessica and Oscar. They're so cute together. And yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this episode. And that's basically all I got for you for now. So get out there, do all the stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye! So sleepy, baby. Oh, pillow, baby. Pillow, baby. Oh, such a soft pillow. <laughs> Can't believe you actually let me do that. You are a soft pillow. <laughs> <laughs>